Hi, in this video, let's create this simple sidebar that pushes the main content area with a slight rotation. Here in my HTML file, I have a div element with a class of container and inside this div we have a long paragraph. And just below this div we have a span tag with a class of icon and this span tag will contain an HTML entity for the hamburger menu icon. And finally we have a nav element which is going to form the sidebar. And that's all we need for the HTML. Now let's have a look in the browser. So this is all we have in the browser. We have this long paragraph on top and just below the paragraph we have this tiny hamburger menu icon and finally we have the links which is going to form the sidebar. Now let's go to our CSS file and start styling all of these elements. So I'll go to my styles.css file. Here I've already removed the default margin and the padding. Now let's select the div with the class of container. We'll set the min height to 100%. We'll set the display to flex. We'll give it a background of CCC we'll give it a width of 100% we'll give it a padding at the bottom of 2 em and finally also let's give it a position of absolute now if we check in our browser we can see that the hamburger menu icon and the links have disappeared this that is because we have given the position of absolute to our container div now if i give this container a z index let's say of negative five you can see that the hamburger menu icon and the links appear now let's give a few styles to the paragraph I'll give it a width of 80% and we'll give it a margin of 10% auto. And this is what we have in our browser. Now let's start styling the nav element. We'll give it a background color of 262626. We'll give it a width of 200 pixels. We'll set the box sizing. To border box we'll set the min height to 100 VH and let's have a look and now let's style these anchor tags we will say a and we'll set the display to block I'll make some space at the bottom Next, let's set the text decoration to none. We'll set the text align to center. We'll give it a height of 50 pixel. We'll give it a line height of 50 pixel. We'll say text transform uppercase. We'll choose a font weight of bold. We'll choose a font family of Verdana. Finally, let's select the text color to white and also let's add a border at the bottom. So I'll say border bottom one pixel solid 333. Three, three. Now let's have a look and we have our sidebar ready. Now by default, we want the sidebar to be hidden so let's do that I'll go to my CSS file and here the nav element I'll say transform translate on the x-axis by negative 200 pixel and now if you check in the browser the sidebar has moved to the left by negative 200 pixel now let's start styling the hamburger menu icon so we'll select the class of icon and we'll give it a position of absolute. We'll increase its font size to 2 em. 
and we'll position it a distance of 10 pixel from the right and a distance of 10 pixel from the top and finally let's choose a cursor of pointer and if we check in the browser you can see that our hamburger menu is ready now we want the sidebar to come into view when somebody clicks on the hamburger menu icon so for that we need to create a class so let's go to our CSS file and here I'll create a new class with the name of sidebar show and we'll use the transform property and we'll translate the sidebar on the x-axis by 0 and this is going to bring the sidebar back to its original position now we need to add this class to our sidebar using JavaScript so let's do that so we first need to select the class of icon so I'll say document dot query selector icon and we need to add an event listener of click and we'll run a function so in this function we need to select the nav element so we'll say document dot query selector nav and we'll add the class that we just created which is sidebar show so now let's check in the browser so when I click on the hamburger menu icon you can see that the sidebar appears and when I click on it again it moves out of view now finally let's add in some transition so I'll go to my CSS file and here for the nav element I'll add in a transition of all and a duration of 0.5 seconds now let's check it and we have a smooth transition the next thing we need to do is we also want the main content area to move to the right by 200 pixels along with the sidebar and we also want to add a slight rotation for that we'll create a brand new class so I'll go to my CSS file so I'll create a new class with the name of container shift and we'll use the transform property again and we'll translate the main content area on the x-axis by 200 pixel and also at the same time we'll add in some rotation we'll rotate the container on the y-axis by 45 degrees now it's time to add this class using JavaScript so we'll select the class of container and add the class that we created which is container ship now let's have a look in the browser you can see that the container is moving to the right and it is also having a slight rotation however we cannot see the 3d effect right now so let's do that we'll go to a CSS file and we'll be using the perspective property so we need to add the perspective property to the parent element which right now is the body element and we'll set the perspective to 1000 pixel and also let's give this body a background color of 262626 now let's check it you can see that it has a 3d effect so let's make it slightly smooth by adding some transition so we'll go to the container and we'll add a transition of all 0.5 seconds now let's have a look you can see that there is this slight rotation and we also have the needed 3d effect but transform origin is not set to 0 so let's do that so we'll go to our container element and we'll say transform origin 0 
and now if you check you can see that we have the desired effect and finally also let's change the color of the hamburger menu icon to white when it gets on the darker background so for that we'll create a final class and this class let's name it icon white and we'll set the color to white now it's time to add this class using javascript so i'll simply copy this and i'll paste it and we'll select the icon class and we'll change this class to icon white now let's check in the browser and here you can see that our icon turns white as soon as it gets on a darker background and also let's add in some transition to the icon as well so i'll say transition 1.5 seconds and now let's check it and now it looks fine and that's the way you can create a simple sidebar that pushes the main content area and gives a slight 3 d effect so that's it for this video I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a nice day.